If we were to play this fairly, we would at least look at all of the countries around the world that engaged in the slave trade who are simply not interested in any form of reparations. All the Arab countries who not just traded far more slaves than across the Atlantic, but castrated all the men so that there wouldn't be any more African slaves. There is slavery across Africa today. In fact, there are more slaves in the world today than there were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade. So some of us are simply a bit bored of hearing people ripping at closed wounds and then crying about their hurt or their presumed hurt because everybody could do this. A million Europeans were stolen by North Africans over the course of decades of the North African Barbary pirate slave trade. Nobody is alive who has actually suffered the hurt and nobody is alive who did the wrong. It's always the countries that people want to come to who are put through this struggle session. Britain, like America and France, are the most desired destinations for migrants worldwide. Why is that? It's not because we're racist, it's because we're better. It's because we're good. It's because when we see racism, we actually call it out and recognize it as a sin. Try finding that across the Middle East or in China. Nobody would hear. So what we have is a situation where the more virtuous countries are presented as the worst countries. It's sick and most of us are tired of it.